Hello and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. How's it going, Heather? It means a lot that you'd get all those materials for us, so thanks. Building up that engine is gonna be no sweat now. Says the guy who hasn't even decided what we want to do for the bike's design. I know, Lars, I know. I gave it some thought, but nothing's really hit me yet. Could always give it some cool rock and roll energy. Can't go wrong with the classics. Hold up, is this an open forum? Cause if it is, I vote for spikes. It'd give our bike a real edge. Get it? Because it'd be all spiky. That stuff would be eye-catching, sure. But it's not quite what I had in mind. I want something that's unique to this town. Something like the museum. That'll really turn some heads. Unique, huh? Yeah. Do know what to tell you there. There you are, Damon. I've been looking all over for you. Bridget? Hello there, Heather. I hope I didn't interrupt anything important. Uh, oh dear, I did, didn't I? That frown of yours isn't very encouraging, Damon. It's got nothing to do with you. We're just at a standstill, and only an artistic genius of our caliber is gonna be able to get us out of this one. Oh really? Okay, but do come to the shop once you're all done. Um, standing still? You promised to help me brush the alpacas, remember? Ah, oh, shoot. That's right. I'll swing by later, okay? Alpacas. What's up, Clem? That's it. It's perfect. Goodness, what's gotten into you, Clemens? You're a genius, Bridget. This is exactly the inspiration we needed. Thank you. I am? Well, um, uh, that's nice, I think. Sorry to bug you again, Heather, but would you be able to grab some more materials for me? It's pretty much stuff I can only get from your farm. Hold on, Clemens. You don't mean... I've settled on a design. We're all done here. Now go help your sister, will you? Huh. Alpacas. Hmm. Well... It is the last day of autumn and uh, the mayor's birthday today. We'll take him a melon. He and Beth are now at full 10 hearts with us. But I do still want to remember him on his birthday. We'll also have to swing by the town hall and see what requests we've got there now. I'm really curious to see what this new motorcycle design turns out to be like. Good morning, Magnolia. No drop. Using alpacas as inspiration. 
interesting. First things first though, let's go see the Earth sprites. And once again, we don't have any pressure to get anything particular from from these. Just um, a bunch of materials and things that may or may not be useful. But we don't really need anything in particular. So that's a relief because it is very random. We did end up getting a grilled fish that is going to be very useful and let's see. The bunch of the sprites, field, grass and log sprite, are almost level 10. That's cool. They are going to level up any day now. So yeah, we did end up getting a grilled fish, which of course is going to be useful as a gift for the seafood lovers. And we got some fish that we can grill ourselves. So that's fantastic. We still need more friendship with Emilio and Marcos and Manuela too, but we now know that she likes pineapples more than she likes seafood. So Manuela is going to be getting pineapples from us. And it's just Marcos and Emilio who will be making seafood or seeds here are done we'll put them in here and the uh, spores here are done too let's plant them shimeji trumpet and coral. Right. So let's go sell the cheese at least. I think that's the only thing in our inventory currently that we want to sell. And the fish of course go into the fridge. Should we do the cooking while we're here? Hmm. Nah, let's do it later. Let's go look after our animals now and... And do the cooking later. We do need to make it to the general store before it closes because we went to buy a confession pendant. Yesterday we saw Felicia's Nine Heart event and it was truly lovely. Very, very sweet. And today we are going to give a pendant to Iris. And we'll start getting to know her better. We are already at like a little bit over nine hearts with her, thanks to the uh, beet soup that we've been giving her. So we should be able to see like one heart event per day with her. Starting with the uh, confession event today. Hello, Bluebell. Pepper. Ebony.
Ginger Haiku Clementine Coco And Geranium Thank you all so much for the milk Come on out Right, we'll clear this yard and then we just need to go see the chickens and our farm chores will be done for the day. Hello Crocus, Nettle, Apricot, Tarsi, Ruby, Amethyst, Limerick and Poppy. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Come on out. And now to process all of that. Once we're done with this, we'll go to the general store and buy that pendant. And um, let's also take some gifts with us because um, we may run into some people. It's early enough in the day that people are still going to be kind of out and about. So it'll be real handy to, to just do some kind of a drive-by gifting or run-by gifting in our case. As we see the people on our way to uh, places. Let's just take all of the gift items. From here, I think we need to make at least one more grilled fish. Yeah, one more, I think. And while we're cooking, let's also make something for the people in the DLC areas. The pendant is going to be our gift for Iris today. We can't give her pe the uh, pendant and the soup. Well, I guess we'll have the soup all ready for tomorrow then. That's fine, we won't have to make any beet soup tomorrow. Um, let's make some pasta um, Dunhill We need to make more flour There and then some tea for Rager. And I think that's all the cooking we need to do today. Let's get these out of here. We also need more wheat. I guess let's make flour out of six. 
um, six of those ten and uh, we'll take four into one of our seasonal gardens. Not the winter garden because wheat doesn't grow in winter but any of the other three and we'll make some wheat seeds and obviously also grow them in the seasonal garden maybe spring garden we don't really have all that much going on in there ah. hello jack and angela i would like to buy a pendant thank you While we're here, let's go see if anybody's home. Oh. Well, hello there, Manuela. Hmm? You look as anxious as a sheep without its flock. Did something happen? Did something happen? Raoul has been acting suspicious recently. That's what's happened. The boy's got to be hiding something, and I'm going to find out what it is. Will you come with me? He's going to the cafe all by his lonesome. I wonder what he's doing. He's too young for that. If he keeps parading around by himself, I worry he's going to get caught up in the wrong crowd. Oh my, I suppose that is a possibility. Is there a wrong crowd in Olive Town? And off he goes. That was surprisingly quick. I wonder what he was doing there anyway. he going to the park for? Come on, doggy. A dog. I got some leftovers from the cafe for you. Eat up. Aha, so that's what he was doing. Haha, <laughs> quit it, buddy. That tickles. How cute! You can't be mad at that, can you? Ah, uh, I really can't. Let's just pretend we never saw this. Who am I kidding? I'll have to sneak up tomorrow just to check on them. Count me in. Nah, that was super sweet. Manuela? Pineapple for you? Ah. <laughs> Mayor? You would like to travel on a motorcycle. Well, how about a little birthday ride? I could, um... We could ride my motorcycle together. He's here! It's the captain! Hey now, what's this all about? Excuse me, but we'd like a picture with you. Stand here, right in the middle of us. Oh wait, who's going to take the picture? Excuse me, 
Could you take a picture of us? Here you go. Make sure we don't end up looking all blurry, okay? <laughs> Look at you, old man. Wonder what mom would say if she saw you? Don't be stupid, lad. A sheep? That's not just any sheep, that's THE famous boat riding sheep. We need it in the picture too. Okay, snap it when we say cheese. Wait, the captain's gone. We gotta catch up to him. Give that camera back. Sheesh. What, you two? Well, I mean, that's the sheep that's always been especially fond of Georg. Oh I guess that was oh Georg's Ten Heart event? Hmm. Let's go see. Oh, Jacopo, hi. We need more hearts with you too. Oh. Have some mayo. And let's see about those requests. 15 alpaca wool, 1 alpaca wool plus, and the same with the uh, brown alpaca wool, and 99 white dye, and 1 glass rock. So 15 of the uh, ordinary alpaca wool of both colors and then one alpaca wool plus of both colors and 99 white dye. Let's go to the flower shop and buy 99 white dye. Oh, and we also need one glass rock. The uh, glass rock, of course, is just for Sally, but we need more hearts with her too, so that'll work. And we have plenty of those glass rocks, so um, yeah. You have such a wonderful name, Heather. Every time I say it, my heart feels as light as a butterfly, fluttering over a newly bloomed rose. Ah, Lynn, that was beautiful. I think I want to go see the people in the DLC areas now though. And when we get back, we will grab the uh, stuff for those requests and go to town hall. And then, kind of, as we um, come back from there, we'll go see people and give gifts. So, let's start with Iris. Hi. Hello there, Heather. <laughs> You look so pleased with yourself today. Did something good happen this morning? No, but it's about to. 
Heather, does this mean... Hold on a moment. I'm having a hard time taking this in. Could we go somewhere else to discuss this? Sure. My, that was a surprise. I wasn't expecting you to be so frank with your feelings. Oh no, it hasn't put me off, I promise. Words can scarcely describe how happy I was when you told me I didn't have to shoulder my burdens alone. It was the first time anyone had ever said such a thing to me. How could I be put off by you, of all people? How could I deny such an earnest expression of love? There's something unique about you. You're different from the rest, Heather. At least I've always thought so. If you're sure I'm the one for you, then I would gladly be your girlfriend. At first, I only thought of you as a younger friend. And yet... When did I start thinking of you this way? No, I'm just speaking out loud. I look forward to seeing where this relationship takes us, my dear Heather. I do too. Hmm? You want me to speak my mind more often? Well, I suppose I can try. May I start by asking something of you? Can we stay together a little longer? Thank you. Let's chat here for a while before we return. was one of the sweetest confession events, I think. Rager? Mm. Have some tea? Mm. I'm looking forward to seeing the Seven Heart event tomorrow. Let's also go to the Windswept Falls. Howdy. Dunhill. to bed soon, okay? And Felicia? Ah, uh, yes, you do like to discover new foods. Oh. 
have some mayo. Okay, back to the farm then. And to Olive Town. Well, actually, we do need to visit our wool chest before we go to town. So, 15... Well, one of these. 15 of these. And then... One of these. And 15 of these. Easy. Now, the uh, glass rock for Sally. And let's go. We'll go to town hall first and donate all of these or deliver all of this stuff and then as we kind of walk back towards our home we'll go see people and uh, and talk to them and give them gifts let's fill all of these requests so since Clemens is the one who's um, asking for these things will fulfilling these requests raise our friendship level with him that'll be interesting to see All requests fulfilled. Dosetsu. Ah, oh, you're still having supper. <laughs> the young master is, today and all days, ever. Hmm. Ah, I'm afraid I simply have no talent for haiku. Well, that's fine. Not everybody needs to have a talent for it. Yori? Have you accomplished all your work for the day? Take care when walking about at night. The, d but the darkness hides many dangers. I will, but it's not all that late yet. Clemens and Lars. I only have mayo for you guys today. Here you go. And... Here you go. <laughs> Karina and Jean. I'm uh, just giving you mayo today. Oh. Two. A natural look would suit you best, Heather. Hmm. I guess, yeah. Especially being a farmer. It would be kind of weird to... To like, um... Do farm work all heavily made up. Mm. Nigel? 
Also go see Misaki. Hello. <laughs> and Cindy at the general store. Cindy We should hit the road and go on a journey together. We gotta see the world while we're still young. Sure, why not? Marcos? So go see the people at the hotel. Jason and and um Sally and Mikey. Hello Jason. Ahoy. <laughs> Sally. My dad likes to joke around a lot, but he actually works super hard. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Running a hotel. Especially now that we have a lot of tourists showing up. I think that's everybody. Oh, we didn't see Gloria. And then of course Sydney I think is only in town on Mondays. But yeah, I think we did pretty good today with the socializing and gift. We'll have to take that wheat into one of the seasonal gardens, maybe tomorrow. For now, let's just wish our cats good night and uh, put those berries into the fridge. And get to bed. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, 
then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.